Hi everybody and welcome to my channel right here. Today I thought that I'll be talking about the Trotter T1 because I think that there aren't many information out there just about this board in general and um, you know Trotter have been out with the, their first board. This is their very first board that they come out with for a while now right and um, yeah I'm just talking about the pros and cons of, of the board itself right here. Firstly let's just examine the board you know you got this rubber pad thing now you're asking me if uh, this compared to the one wheel pint one wheel XR how does it feel it feels all right I mean um, it's not as bad as people might think oh this is rubbish no nah, it, it's it's okay it's it's not like the best feeling but it's all right it doesn't like if you carve a lot you're not gonna get foot fatigue the wheel size right here the wheel size is 11 by 6 by 5.5 right and um you have these metal plate it's not as good as pint and xr like you know plastic plate that you can glide you can do more tricks the float life just released the video you can see that it does not grind that well but I'm glad that they um, released some more video of this right here. Um, yeah, and a fender is a big plus for me because I feel like the fender itself just keep the debris, the, uh, the water away from the board itself, right? Now I'm gonna show you how the mortar sound like and I'm gonna push it at the maximum load. Now you won't be able to get to this speed because the board itself won't let you push it to the maximum speed so this beep will not even come on so let's position the board so that the wheel is in the middle of this um, bucket and i'm gonna push it all right you're gonna hear exactly how the motors sound like at it at its top speed And that is the top speed of the trotter. Now, um, how did it fare? Does the manufacturer gave you fake numbers or thing like that? The expected range is around 20 kilometer, which is around 14 miles. Let me just do a calculation real quick. But uh, just thinking of around 14 miles on this, 20 k uh 20 kilometer and the top speed is also 20 kilometer per hours um right here the thing is that this trotter right here it it actually performed okay in this range 17 to around 19 right here uh depend on how much you weight i weighed 194 pound so um that is around 88 kilo gram so yeah it, it, it fared pretty well for me now how does it ride how does the trotter t1 ride i i think it it's just for for my experience it's right okay but it's not trailing if you're just on another e-skate before electric unicycle one wheel the t1 is possibly the most dumped down i mean when you first got on it as a beginner or as a first timer right here this thing fare well this thing will will make you you know will make you feel pretty good and um until your nose dies <laughs> which inevitably will happen with this because the safety feature in this is <sighs> it's, it's not that good um so basically if you want to go more you want more speed and thing like that 
you can't just keep pushing the the front. There are no pushback or or anything. the The front is just gonna go like that. Just gonna go into the concrete and it's gonna buck you back. Once it buck you back, you'll be falling on your butt. So uh, that's that's what will happen. The thing is that how to avoid that is you have to have a back foot um, consciousness. So uh, just try to balance the weight in the middle instead of leaning forward. You lean your weight forward too much, you will expect a nose dive. Or aka okay, you're bending your knees and then you're trying to place weight here too much, nose dive. So yeah, just don't expect it to go too fast and I'm going to show you the stat now. So these are the stat of the three right that I done. First one. Okay, come on camera. What does it say? See, distance 17.89 kilometer. Average speed 10.74 and fastest speed 7.28. All right. And this is with the with the full battery. And this one also with the full battery as well, but it's getting less range, but have more max speed. Um, just, this is the same road, same ride. Nothing has changed, but it just varied on, on how you ride, how much you brake, how much you push the board right here. And that's gonna affect range. Also PSI as well, PSI is gonna affect your range. I recommend around, I don't know, I think that the board fare very well at around, like if you're not a heavy rider, 15 PSI is really good on this board. I'm really liking low PSI, Just it just carves so much better. But if you want to go for that range, then 18 to 20 PSI for this board right here. Um, I want to just talk about, um, you know, the ride itself. How am I enjoying the ride on this board comparing to one wheel or thing like that? I feel like this board, if you're getting it as your first board or getting it as for, you know, the children that wanted to learn the board, I think it's great. I think it's great at the top speed that is relatively safe if you fall. Um, this thing will not be as gnarly as uh, your fall with one wheels or your fall with the tea tree. I also wanted to talk about the tea tree as well because I own the tea tree. The thing is that this thing is quite robust. Um, you know, it, it taken many falls. You can see fender damage. And thing like that but it the controller never gave out on me whereas the t3 i did like you know it was just i'm just like cruising through and then i hit like a, a like in the front and it was like stopping the board it was like just imagine this right you're just going and hit that and then the board shut off and never turn on again and it was a it was a relatively very very like it's not even a hard hit and it fried the BMS. And that is the T3, the, the Mac wheel T3 right there. And just fried the BMS. Now it ride well. The thing is that you're not gonna get as much throw as you on one wheel or even one wheel pint will have more of a cruisy feeling than this one. It doesn't take incline very well, although it does an okay incline but don't expect it to go up like more than 30 degrees of 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 an incline okay just maybe 20 degree going up yeah it can go up slowly and um i have to tell you guys that this is a slow board a, a slow board uh if you're if you're riding east gate or you you wanted more of a speed this is not going to be for you, okay? This is not going to be for you. At around $700 to $800 price, 
I highly recommend that you upgrade to the T3 or even the one wheel itself. Now, why didn't I get the one wheel? The one wheel costs around $2,000. Even the pint, it almost hit $2,000 mark. And you'll be thinking, where are you? To, to actually get that kind of a stupid price because they jack up the tax, the, the shipping price over here. Okay, um, I'm, I'm just really disappointed on how, um, you know, the price is, is being affected here. Just to be able to get a one wheel, you have to pay that premium of, of, of owning a one wheel. This thing that doesn't get that much premium, although it's still, you know, it goes on sales or whatnot. One wheel never go on sale. You only can buy it like use and then you get a quite a bit of a discount on it, but that's it. So I feel, I feel like comparing to, to one wheel itself, this, this is not going to be any competition. Okay. This is, this is not going to be a competition to one wheel, but does it ride like one wheel? Does it, does it give the same feeling as one wheel for your 700 to $800 right here? Does it give you that feeling? Although not exactly the same, like, you know, because of the program inside it, but you know, for, 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 for that money, I think it's just you just better upgrade to the t3 and you, you just get so much more torque and but t1 i think for for children for for people that wanting to just get out there doesn't want that much speed um love cruising around and it's it's not very enthusiastic enthusi about the sport the board sport i think it's fine for for its like you know for for its use so if you have any question on the t1 itself you can ask me down in the comment section um i have ridden xr point the t3 and um you know all of them are good in its own way i do think that the brand, like the trotter right here, is not as, like, you know, as bad as people have given it credit. Like, some people just said, oh, it was unbearable. Because, like, they come from a very good board. And then they, they jump on this one and they'd be like, this this is unbearable. Whereas people that haven't ridden a one wheel before and train hard and, and, and try actually try hard to to get this board to work and um practice till they are good at it i think it's just it just works just works okay for me so yeah that explain everything and if you um as you can hear the motor sound the motor sound actually did not give out like it was a very low torque low power kind of a thing so yeah all right everyone thank you so much for watching and if you're watching till now um thank you and um, i hope that you like the video please like the video if you like it or uh help subscribe to me i'll be releasing more content on the t3 later and um the Mac wheel T3, trotter T3. I don't know. I just call it the T3. I cut the Mac wheel and I cut the trotter out. Just call it them T1, T3. And that's how I call them. All right. I'll see you guys later and um, have a great day. Bye.